Yo, I want to teach you a pen spinning, oh, this is going to be a pen spinning tutorial for a move or action type thing called the thumb around, um, thumb around. Now, there's two ways of doing this and I'll teach you both ways. Number one, I like to call the Asian way because I don't see, I only see Asians doing this way. And this is how my friend taught me. He was Asian, and he taught me this way. Right here. I'm gonna get your two fingers. You wanna leave maybe a couple of, uh, maybe one centimeter of gap. And you wanna, you wanna find the pen lid, right? I know this is really hard to find. So this little bump here is where the pen lid ends. If you're wondering what camera I'm using, I'm using my iPod camera. So really sorry if it looks weird. And I'm using, this pen is called the KT, the Shadow. Dr. KT to Shadow, it's like thirty dollars, yes. Most of you guys are gonna be like it's a waste of money. Anyway, let's get on with it. You wanna get your fingers and thumb. So it looks just like this. So your thumb would be in line uh, or adjacent. I think that's it adjacent. Opposite. I don't know, one of them. I don't know, this isn't working out. To your index finger and you wanna leave oh, I guess that's like two centimeters, a gap between your index finger and your middle finger. Now, where the power is going to be coming from, it's not going to be coming from your thumb. We will learn that way later. And the power will be coming from your middle finger. So if you hit, like, if you just move your middle finger, you'll be, you, you'll see this. Now, if you give it enough power and you actually, like, go of it, not completely, but just a little bit, so there's enough power and you haven't, like, go of it too much. So, the pen will just like spin around your finger. Now let's if I can make this slow motion. Now I'm hoping that worked. So, as you could see, uh, my thumb started from up here to down here. Now, once you start getting used to the thumb around, you, you will act, your thumb will just like move down there by itself, and you won't actually realize it, it's moving. Um, so yeah, that's number one. Number two, oh, this is number one. Haha. Uh -huh. Number two. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to the catch it after number two. Number two, right there. Number two. You want to hold your fingers just like this. Instead of it being like this, you just want to. Put your middle finger instead of it next to be next instead of it being next to your index finger. You want it next to your thumb. All right, so you do the peace sign. You just put it in there. So there's like maybe what's that like three centimeters, give or take, or maybe an inch away from your thumb. Now this time the power is going to be coming from the thumb instead of the uh, middle finger. It's just going to be like this way. But it's just gonna be coming from the thumb. It might not. Okay, this this is what it looks like, right? It may not look like the power's coming from the thumb, but it actually is. I guess it's coming from the thumb and the index finger. You can either make the power come from your thumb or your index finger. You know, it, both both of what I just said will still look like this. Anyway, we're gonna work to catching. If you do it this way, number one or number two you will still catch it the same way as you can see now most of you guys when you start off just like everyone else out there you'll like drop it drop it you get close to it but then you drop it so it takes a lot of practice this is the proper way of doing it like most people I'll see they'll be like I don't know that that looks so weird they'll be like oh I got it that's what they'll be like right no this is the way I just taught you just then is the proper way. I'll try to make an extended better version if this version isn't good enough. Um, yeah, that the, the way you catch it, when you, when it spins around your finger, your, in, your middle finger should go down here below your thumb. So, it uh, looks like that, kind of. And your index finger should just come over here. So, your thumb goes from one side of the lid get to the other side depending on how long the pen is that is what she said now if you do number two way 
your index, your middle finger won't really move much. It should like depend on where you caught it. It should just end up being where you catch it. Your middle finger doesn't really move that much if you do the number two way. If the number one, there is um, if number one way, I guess it does move a bit. Anyway, I saw my friend doing this. I didn't really get how to do it. It was like just do the thumb around, bring it around. Wait, do the thumb around. Do you like a little mini infinity? Yeah, that, that's basically what they look like. What it looks like. To do that, I would recommend trying to um, mastering the thumb amount first because then this becomes much more simpler. If you want to learn now, I'll try to teach you. Um, most of you guys will probably learn it before I. Or half before, like, oh, you master the thumb around. Yeah, and this, I don't really know how to, uh, explain how to do that. That's like, you'll get it eventually. Anyway, thanks for watching, and, yeah. Oh, another thing about this pen. These things here, a lot of people think this is what a pen actually is. No, you fooled. The pen's right here. The ink isn't in, the ink is, uh, on my left, I took it out because it really pisses me off. And, um, yeah. Everyone, like, whenever they use my pen, they're like, Oh, your pen doesn't work. I'm like, dick face. Using the lid. They're like this. Oh, mate, your pen isn't working. Yeah, they're pretty much, they're pretty dickheads, eh? I guess this is for, like, pacer. Pacer. Pacers, yeah. Anyway. Shit, this is so light. I'd recommend using the light pen first. Because if you use a light pen, then go into a heavy pen, it becomes much more easier when in the future when you're trying to teach other people. Because if you go straight to a heavy pen, it may be easier, but when you when you try to like use a light pen, it becomes so difficult. Like if you go light, light, like you, then if you use light pens, then you can use anything, <clears throat> anything like this thing here. This is like really light, probably as light as a pencil. So once you get used to light pens and you can go on to normal size pens, normal heavy, normal weight pens. I'd say this is a normal weight pen, right? Because it's not too heavy nor is it too light. I'd recommend this. People say it's for advanced users. No. This is for more it's not for beginners nor advanced people. It's for like people more in the middle. People that I guess can do this. Uh this is I guess between nor um beginners and professionals like between average because this isn't really this uh, that hard to learn um then i'd recommend going to buster cycle cycle buster i forgot what it's called because that is like maybe roughly twice as heavy as this and it'll be so much more easier to spin you can do so much more shit with it but i do recommend and everyone else that does pen spinning has at least one year practice would recommend using a light pen uh, pen like this, if you guys have ever, ever felt a Dr. KT pen, one of, the, one of these pens that feel 50-50, mm, I guess, not too heavy, not too light, and then going on to a really heavy pen. Heaviest pen I know out there, if you guys just want to skip to it, which I'm not going to recommend, would be the Cycle Buster. Or, you try to like make your own more, probably like, Cycle Boss, but add a whole bunch of other shit onto it. So yeah, that's it, I don't want to make this video too long, so that's, that's it, mates, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you later.